In Wyoming, a creative idea is giving long-term care residents the first physical interaction they've had with loved ones since the pandemic began. As MTN's Andrea Lutz reports, this hugging booth is the first of its kind. Is, is that a new sweater or? In the midst of a pandemic. Or one you've had? Yeah. When distance means safety. Someday we might be able to come into your room. And seeing loved ones is rare. Well, this is the first day they've done this, and it's really kind of neat. Today is a first yeah. for Chuck Morton and his wife, okay. Lee. Oh, yeah, I think I remember it. Yeah. After 54 years of marriage, the two were separated. Lee went to go live at Cody Regional Health's long-term care center as she suffers from dementia. And this is her first year here. Of course, we went through the holidays without her, and that was... Hard. For nine months, no physical contact until today. Oh, it goes right along with your outfit, too. Oh, that's good. We sometimes don't realize how much something as simple as a hug, a warm embrace, we need as humans until it's been taken away. Cody Regional Health put restrictions in place in March, all in an effort to keep their residents safe. And it's worked because this facility has had no positive cases of COVID-19. Very difficult for, for everybody. Because it's just so special to see them, to be able to touch their families, hold their hands. We wanted but Anna Lee Avery out. with the hospital's foundation so, knew something had to change for these residents and their loved ones. So this all stemmed from um, my grandma's 93rd birthday. She's in Ohio and that's a significant distance. So I drove five days in a car. Um, it was with my three children to visit with my grandmother through glass. And it was exciting to see her smile, but so hard not to touch her. So she did the research, bought the materials, and the hugging booth was born. And it just was near and dear to our hearts because we know what that's like to miss someone. Studies show that touch can send the body signals of safety and trust. It soothes our hearts, calming cardiovascular stress. Yeah. Oh, this is <laughs> nice. Heck, we could list off all the benefits all day long. Yeah. Oh, this is really great. But chances yeah. are yeah. it's not needed. Good that you look good. You really do. All you have to do. You feel good too. Is watch yeah. the comfort that overcomes Chuck and leave. Just being able to hold someone's hand is so impactful and to see that happen just melts oh, your heart. You got it's just too. wonderful. <laughs> oh, that's pretty neat, hon. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very nice. After months of not being able to hold his wife, Perhaps this. Right, uh, okay, will you be good, all right? I'll try to be good. And I love you, okay? I love you too. <laughs> okay. Could be the next best thing. Okay. I'll be there pretty soon. Okay. In Cody, Wyoming, Andrea Lutz, MTN News. Foundation grants helped build the hugging booth, and our cameras were there on the first official day of scheduled visits for Cody residents.